Sparkle Squad. This is Monica and it is 2023, y'all. I can't believe it. 2022 went by way too fast. Along with the bad is always some good, right? Or at least I hope you had some good with whatever bad that you endured for 2022. But I'm hoping that 2023 will be as delicious as this photo is. So let's try to keep some good thoughts, some positivity moving forward. I wanted to show you the calendar that I got for this year. I've been trying to share these monthly recipes that come from this calendar from Gooseberry Patch. I just love the overall look of this. I've moved to Kentucky, so we're on we're in a farmhouse, so this kind of gives me a farmhouse feel. And then also it has some really cute illustrations and most of all delicious recipe. This one is for the month of January and it's got chocolate chip pancakes. I love to have this one in my kitchen. The illustrations are so beautiful and fun and I really hope that you enjoy this. I wanted to show this to you this year on my YouTube because I haven't done that yet. I got a waffle maker for Christmas y'all so I'm excited to try some paleo waffle recipes, some keto waffle recipes, any kind of healthier or low carb type of waffle recipes. If you have any, please leave below in the comments because I'm really excited about that and still being able to have delicious waffles that are not frozen egos. Yeah, I'm tired of that. I'm, I'm an adult, I need a real waffle. And also here in the bottom of the actual calendar part, you know, it still has the beautiful illustrations, but it gives you some little motivational things here that are part of the recipe or theme of whatever the recipe is. So this one says, sleepy weekend mornings are perfect for pancake breakfasts. Everyone can stay in their jammies a little longer and enjoy some homemade treats. Spoon the batter into letter shapes for personalized pancakes. They're sure to remember. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make myself some little Monica <laughs> pancakes. Now I'm gonna stick with the waffle maker, honey, because I, you know, I'm excited about that. February, ooh, I'm so happy when it's got pink and everything beautiful. All right, we've got embroidered Valentine's Day card. Isn't that cute? So now this is mixing it up. It's not just a food recipe. This is giving me a little craft. I like that. I, I haven't had that before in the last two years that I've gotten this calendar. This is going to be so awesome. They're going to mix my two favorite things, food and crafting. Yay, Gooseberry Patch. I love it. It's not just fun. And it just makes February look so much happier than the old cold, drizzly, yucky February in Kentucky. Or Kenyucky, as I like to refer to it. <laughs> Now down here it says homemade candy is always a welcome gift. Make the gift even sweeter. Place individual candies in mini paper muffin cups and arrange in a decorated box. Yeah, and then give it to Monica. And then March, and you know March is not green. I figured it would be a green, but they've got some green in here. This is make ahead French toast with blueberries and strawberries, a sweet and simple brunch. And then we go down here. This one has a note at the top. Make breakfast even sweeter. Serve up a side of fresh strawberries and blueberries to go along with your make-ahead French toast. Isn't that awesome? Of course, it has all your typical U.S. holidays on there. Well, there's even some Canada. Commonwealth Day is March 13th, guys. Ooh, daylight savings. We don't like to talk about that. That was one of good, the good things about humans. We didn't have to fool with daylight savings. April. Wow, look how colorful April is. Ah! Except they're not that pretty yellow. They are black boots, but they've got colorful polka dots on them. Now, I wish I had those boots because those are a lot happier looking. <laughs> this has another recipe and it's called chicken bundles. Isn't that cute? I've never seen that recipe before. Ooh, it does look delicious. And you go down here to the bottom. Watch yard sales for vintage style glass and china items to decorate your garden. A glass globe perched in a bird bath or mismatched saucers bordering the flower bed adds sweet character. I do like the look of that. I noticed that a lot of my friends have done that in their gardens and it's just so whimsical. I mean, it's not really whimsical in like a fairy garden type way, but it does make it interesting and colorful. And also it gives new life to old dishes and I love that. Here's my birth month. Let's see what's exciting for May. $165 blackberry apple pie. Wow, I've never heard of that. So this is church socials. It's got a delicious looking recipe here. And then we go down. Ooh, there's even some optional vanilla ice cream. Why is that optional? It's, it should be mandatory. <laughs> 
And then we have the May calendar. And at the bottom it says, call friends and enjoy an impromptu spring afternoon together. Serve a cold pitcher of lemonade or iced tea and soak up some sun while you're catching up. So, I mean, I just like the cute little notes and the recipes and all that fun stuff. June, we have, I like also that it's not traditional colors, but this is dinner on the porch. Ooh, beef fajita skewers. Now, I'm not really a beef person, but you know, this would be cool to try. Especially, you know, I like to have a, a little bit of inspiration in things I'm not really used to cooking. And this is a great idea here to get you a calendar that's got recipes. And every month, you could at least try one. A big shaker of seasoning salt is a must-have for tasty grilling. Mix up your very own blend. A good basic mixture is a teaspoon each of salt, pepper, garlic powder, and oregano or rosemary. Like it spicy? Ooh, add some cayenne pepper and dry mustard. Now we go into July. Oh, that delicious looking watermelon. Ooh, bacon stuffed burgers. Man, this is making me hungry. That is a monster looking recipe and I think I'll have to do it too because I just love hamburgers, especially on the grill during the summertime. That's awesome. Such colorful illustrations here. Pick a spot next to your picnic area and place two trellises, the type with square openings in the ground in front of one in front of the other. Spaced about six inches apart, they'll create an outdoor wine rack for your sparkling water or fruit juices. Perfect for your next outdoor get together. That is a cool idea, yeah. And Canada Day for my Canadian friends, July the 1st. I didn't know that. See, I need to do better about keeping up with that. My, my Canadian friends are always so sweet to remember these US holidays, which I can't hardly have to remember myself. <laughs> And then I don't remember anything about their holidays. I'm sorry, Canadian friends of mine. Don't hate me. Okay, let's go into August. This is some garden relish recipe. Ooh, with cauliflower and carrots. I don't know, but you know, it's interesting anyway. <laughs> Maybe one of you all might try that. If it has cauliflower, I just don't, I can't feel it in my soul to try. But there you go, garden relish. And then you have a little note down here it says crunchy veggies make a nice go with at dinner time just for fun serve veggie dip in a hollowed out round loaf of bread well, that'd be kind of cool let's go to september that's my husband's birth month and we're going oh this is perfect for him fresh from the oven he loves bread and he loves butter but this is Quick apple dumplings. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to try that. He loves anything apple, so. And our neighbor happens to have an apple orchard, so you know, he helps him with that. So this was perfect. See, this was just fortuitous that I continue the, the tradition of this calendar. And down here we have back to school time isn't just for kids. Treat yourself to a class that you've been longing to try, whether it's knitting, cooking, yoga, or even a foreign language. Take a girlfriend along for twice the fun. Now we're going into my sister's birth month of, ooh, spooky October. Look at that. I just love the illustrations on this. Oh, that's going to make me so hungry. Look at that. When witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers. Tis near Halloween. That is so cute. Pumpkin apple butter. Yes, please. I'll have to try that. And I just love the artwork on this. Isn't, doesn't that just make you want to giggle? There's not any kind of additional note down here, but we kind of had it up here with that cute little poem. I love that. And let's go to November. That's my grandmother's birth month. Gobble it up. <laughs> Easy Thanksgiving dinner. Well, hey, that's a good idea. Let's, I'm going to probably have to do that. And it looks like it goes in a crock pot. And see, it has a little farmhouse. I don't know if you saw that, or a barn, you know, farmhouse and everything. So I just love the whole vibe of this. Give favorite pasta recipes a twist for fall. Pick up some pasta in seasonal shapes like autumn leaves, pumpkins, or turkeys. Some even come in veggie colors like orange, red, or green. I didn't know that. I, have y'all seen any kind of pasta in those shakes? If so, let me know where you're getting them. I might try that. It's always fun. You know, the most bland thing to turn it into something exciting. Yeah, I'm all for that, as long as it's easy to cook. Go December. Oh, this makes me so happy to see. <laughs> I was hoping we'd get like a, a recipe, then a craft, then a recipe, then a craft. But so far, I love everything. So Merry Christmas, candy cane cookies. Yeah, we're going to try that for sure. Oh my gosh, I love it. Doesn't that just make you look, you just, it's happiness right here on the page. I will be happy the whole month of December, won't I? Or I should be. Let's hope we all will, okay? 
Vintage hankies make holiday gifts even sweeter. Whether you wrap a fresh baked batch of cookies or stitch on a monogram and give as is, they're sure to be treasured. Now that is a cool idea. I mean, that's a total farmhousey style gift, like a vintage type of gift. You know, not very many people use handkerchiefs, but I mean, my husband does to wrap around his head for his sweatbands, but <laughs> when he's working outside, and then it's got the sign up here for the, the gooseberry patch. Now I got my gooseberry patch calendar at Amazon and I will of course have my affiliate link below to that. But you can also go to their website at gooseberrypatch.com if you want. Back of the calendar has your birthdays and anniversaries if you want to jot that down. I just usually do it within the actual month itself. Your frequently called numbers emergency. So this is a good thing for if you've got like small kids at home or maybe someone who's elderly and they need to be able to have that on hand maybe any kind of special notes or emergency notes that you have for anyone in the family to have a reference for but i just love this and then of course here's the back of the calendar dear friend we just love the promise of a new year so many good things are right around the corner they're a lot more positive than i was well, aren't they from the frosty fun and swirling snowflakes of January to bushels of fresh picked veggies in the summer, all the way to the magic of Christmas, each month is simply brimming with possibilities. Our 2023 Gooseberry Patch Calendar is filled with recipes to delight family and friends, ideas to brighten your home, and original watercolor artwork in it every month. It's sure to inspire you all year round. Each one is a window into some of our favorite calendars from the past and shows off what we love most about the seasons. As always, there's lots of room for jotting down birthdays, special occasions, and appointments. There's even a place for important numbers and contacts. A handy home base for the kitchen or office or wherever you'd like a burst of inspiration. Here's to the hope for your best year ever, Joanne and Vicki. I haven't actually checked out their website before because like I said, I usually get this calendar at Amazon, but you know, feel free to do so. I am looking so forward to trying some of those recipes and that card craft especially, that's gonna be a lot of fun too. So I hope you enjoyed looking at this 2023 Gooseberry Patch calendar with me. Now I usually have a small one that I will put in my office with me because I have things I have to uh, track as I'm upstairs in the office. And this was last year's 2022. And I love Mary Engelbright, Brett, I don't know how to pronounce it, but she's got a really colorful illustrations and stuff. And this was hers. So I have got one on order. I haven't received it yet. When I do, I'll show that one to you as well. So my wish for you is that you have a sparklerific new year. I am hoping the best, even though it may have sounded like I was a little bit skeptical. I wish nothing but the best for each and every one of you. Are you someone that believes in new year's resolutions? Do you have any new year's resolutions? that you have created for yourself for 2023. Mine seem to always be the same, especially the older that I get. I have yet again made the commitment to drink more water because I don't know how I'm walking around here with as little water as I drink, but I need to do that more. And I also need to walk more. Two main priorities that I had you know, always have had in my mind, but I've really got to just do it. Now here in Kentucky, we don't have warm weather year round or spring like weather year round. So it's a little bit more difficult when it's like below zero <laughs> during the winter time or raining. It does rain quite a lot. So I am thinking about possibly, since I am working from home in this new little office here, I think I might get one of those under the desk treadmills. If you have one of those, let me know. Do you like those? Have you fallen off of those? Because if they're under your office desk, they're not gonna have like bars and things for you to hold on to. And I just wonder how easy is it to concentrate on your work if you're working on a report or something when you're trying to work, walk on the treadmill? Cause I can walk outside and everything, but if I have to get into a rhythm and I'm still trying to concentrate on a spreadsheet, I don't know that I'll be able to do that and not fall and kill myself. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at my little calendar here for 2023. I wish all the best for each and every one of you. I'd appreciate you sharing this out. Subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so pretty, please. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a sparkle day, y'all.